My profit was $24,000 for leasing one office space to the government. That's about five hours worth of work for $24,000. After being afraid to log into Sam for two years, they didn't care about my experience. They didn't care about a real estate license. They didn't care about references. They wanted what they wanted and they told you, this is what we want. And like, it cannot be this simple. I'm still in doubt. I have a special guest, Nakia, with us, whose very first government contract win yielded over a 50% return. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. I'm excited too. So talk to us. How did you get into government contracting and what was this win for? Just to tease us all. Just the teaser. I got into government contracting because Kitty's video popped up that said, are you broke? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> And I said, well, I'm not, but I don't want to be. This might be, this might lead to something. And I clicked on it and you literally said, hey, you know, get started in Sam.gov. And I was like, wait a minute, I'm in Sam.gov. I oh. have not bid on a single thing in two years that I was signed up. So you were already in Sam.gov for two years. You saw this video and you were like, well, wait a minute, I'm already in the system. Yep. Two whole years. And on my first bid, I profited literally $24,000. <laughs> so I made it for nothing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, wow. So how long did it take? Two years, you have your SAM registration. And then did it take like another two years, five years? How long from? Oh, when I first registered on SAM, I'd heard government contracting kind of be thrown around. I didn't really take heed to it. Oh. I remember signing up. And, you know, at first it was like, oh, it's so hard. It's so difficult. And you got to pay people to do it for you. Well, I signed up with the breeze and I was in the system within a week. So I'm like, either I did something wrong, I'm missing something, or I don't know what I'm doing. All doubts. Just because yeah, that was way too easy. And I heard like, you need to pay somebody a thousand dollars to set this up and all of this stuff. So I took no heed to Sam.gov. I logged in once. I saw a bunch of words and I logged right back out. And I don't think I logged in again until the next year when they were telling me to update my registration. <laughs> Which I'm glad that you did because if you don't update it, it's inactive and it's a Well, and, and that's the thing. I'm grateful that they did because I hadn't set up next codes. I didn't set up safe searches. I mean, I literally logged in, scrolled saw these words that didn't register, logged out. It wasn't until, and I promise you, it was two years later when I saw your video and I'm like, oh, it can't be as simple as she's saying because everyone else said. And I go in and I do a search and I'm like, wait a minute, no, I must be missing something because there's no way I sat here for two years when it literally said this clear as day, looking two weeks. This is what we want. This is where we want it. There's no way I missed this. Like, there's no way. Kizzy, I literally registered, like, set up all of my information and verified everything all over again for my registration. I submitted three bids in that one week. This one was the lowest bid. The other two were for service contract. This one was, they were looking for just an office space to lease. The very basic, lowest hanging fruit you could possibly want to make a profit off of. They told you where they want it. They said exactly what they were looking for. And usually it's like location, you know, then mm -hmm. to an interstate or something like that. I'm like, it cannot be this simple. I'm still in doubt. So I'm gonna just try it and see what happens. Now, Norma, like I have a real estate background. These people are not looking for real estate agents. They are not looking for your license. They are not looking for experience. They are not looking for your references. They are looking for that office space. Go get it. That's it. And just like a lot of people, I'm, I'm like, why wouldn't they find their own office space? I don't know about you, but I'm okay with my government not sitting online scrolling for office spaces. Yes. Let me go find it for you. <laughs> and so that's what I did. <laughs> and what kind of office space and for how long? And, you know, can you share like the city or the state? Now, it's funny because I just moved to Georgia and they were looking in Georgia. So I started with that one just to kind of get my feet wet. And I, actually, I wasn't getting my feet wet. I was just dipping my toe in the water. I wasn't even because I'm like, we're just going to see how this goes. 
I pulled up the location that they wanted via Google Earth because I knew that if someone else is competing, they're going to go straight to their real estate broker or they're going to go to one of the commercial listings. And I want to see what's in the area and see what's around where they want. And most of, you know, your mom and pop spots, they just have a sign outside. They're not online and they're not looking. And so that's what I was looking for. I found literally maybe within four miles of what they were looking for. And I'm zooming in and I'm looking at the location. And I'm like, this cannot be this simple. It can't be this simple. Because, <laughs> because I have a harder time getting through the purple line at my kid's school than I'm having right here. So I'm not sold. I'm like, there's no way. I call the owners and I'm like, hey, can I have just the basics? Can I have a floor plan just to kind of see what it looks like? Do you have any pictures you can give me? And I'm taking little pictures on Google Earth. And so... I'm going to submit this bid and I'm looking at what they wanted to charge for rent. And I'm like, the office space is only $945 a month. That's great. Like, no, how do I price it then? How am I going to do that? Because usually in commercial real estate, your price is by the square footage. And so that's your amount for the month that you pay. And so if I charge them just $945, you don't make a profit. So now I'm in that gray area. I am searching and I'm looking and I'm trying to find out if they have spent money before, how much did they spend on their leases, and I don't see anything. So I'm like, mm, okay, I got to package this a little different. So here I am submitting my bid. And Sam, it's like amazing. It tells you exactly where you're going to send your bid, whether you're going to email it to them or if you're going to go you know, to another system. This system was Marketplace. Marketplace gave me the worst anxiety and the best all in the same breath. <laughs> yeah, that Unisol marketplace can be stressful because you can see what position you're in. So when I submit my bid, I'm in lead and then I fall to lag and I stay in lag. So I'm like, yeah. So I put together pictures of the office space, the location, and I make it pretty. You know, they don't have any questions. If you happen to need a kitchen, there's a kitchen area right here. This is all the things that you need. So I priced it if I was serving you guys and if you happen to need property management. They didn't ask for property management. They didn't say they were going to need anything, but just in case. So I justified my price. Technically, the lease itself would be a little over $11,000 a year. Now, if anything happens, I'm responsible you know, because the lease is in my name. Plus, I'm thinking if I do make a profit, how much am I going to have to pay in taxes? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm adding that into my quote, into my bid, I'm sorry. And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to round all of that up. I came up with $35,000. And at first I'm like, that's reasonable. That's, that's super reasonable. It's one office space, but that's reasonable. Right. And if they do happen to need me or, you know, tissue or anything like that, I can order it. And it's fine because it's going to be a good profit. I submit everything and I see that I'm in lag and I'm like, crap, somebody else has definitely found a spot. I'm in lag the entire time, so I'm not worried about it. I'm going, I'm going to keep going. I'm submitting other bids and I'm doing like service contracts. The week of Christmas. <laughs> So this is my timeline. From the time that I've re-registered and updated all of my information in Sam, I submit this bid. This is within two weeks. They're not going to wait long on these contracts because they have to hurry up and get that space. However, I didn't realize that they were going to be working. It's literally the day before Christmas Eve. And I get an email and everything that I submitted on the paper, I submitted everything except the actual address because I kind of want someone to reach out to me. So it's like a risk that I'm taking. Someone reached out. To yeah, me. But that was smart, though. I like it. But I gave them everything like else it. that they needed. They saw they saw where the restaurants were, walking vicinity. They saw, you know, if you needed anything afterwards, like tissue. Here's the corner store. Here's my services. This is the office space. This is how you can arrange your furniture. And I gave them everything except the actual address. I kid you not, he sent, I get an email and the guy is like, hey, Nakia, hope everything's great. May I have the address for your office space that you submitted? And I'm like, okay, here you are. If you need anything else, I'm available. Send it right on over. So now I jump in my car and I'm going to go look at this space for myself just to kind of see. And it happens that the owners were, um, I think they were cleaning up or something. So I was able to catch them. Um, I go and look at the space. I introduce myself. We've been talking over email, getting the information. And the owner says, yeah, someone else asked about the space. They came through. They're, they're trying to get like a government contract or something. And my heart like drops because I'm like, they're trying to get a government contract? Me too. <laughs>
<laughs> so he's like, yeah, they were they were pretty confident. They said that they bid, you know, really low. So, you know, I like you. Hope you win. And I'm like, okay, I'll drive back home. And that's it. When I got back home, like I pulled in the driveway and I get another email and it's for the pie system. But I'm like, well, hold on. Why do I have an invitation for the pie system? I hurry up and I'm, I'm still in the car. I log in on the unison. I'm like, well, I didn't win. I didn't like it's still just pending. Like what is happening right now? But I'm still going to register in this pie system just in case, because why not? I'm dying. I'm watching my email. I'm refreshing it as if it doesn't just come. And I'm like, what's happening? So finally, the guy that asked for the address, I just sent him an email. It's like, hey, it's Nikia. Just wanted to kind of keep in touch. I received um, a request for pie. I'm not sure. Is this your department? Am I supposed to fill this out? He responds immediately and he's like, oh, sorry, I'm jumping ahead of myself. I haven't even put in the award. We're, we're going with yours. And I was like, oh, by all means, jump. <laughs> jump ahead of yourself. <laughs> So it's so funny because he notified me before I was even notified in Unisung, first of all. So then he went ahead and, you know, it, it told me that I was awarded. I know for a fact that someone underbid me, but because they had everything there and he had no questions for me. And I asked specifically, do you have any questions? He was just like, when can we get the keys? What? <laughs> wow. And I was kind of like, when do you need? Again, this is the day before Christmas Eve. So I am like, then it comes to reality. I'm like, oh crap, wait, do I have to pay this whole lease up front? Like, I don't know how this works. So I'm like, I don't want to pay this all up front. I don't, I can't ask somebody. I can't do anything. Like, and I just gave my crew Christmas bonuses. I'd hate to take it back, but if I need to, hey, you gotta be. <laughs> so I'm like, I've been building my business credit. So I'm like, I'm just gonna apply for a credit card just in case, because I don't know. Maybe I have to pay the whole lease up. I don't know. I don't know how to do this. So I get the credit card and get approval. And I call up to the owners and I'm like, I know you guys are about to leave for Christmas, but I want that contract that I was telling you about. And they're probably gonna wanna move in really fast. And they're kind of like, well, how about we do this? Because we're about to leave, you know, we're going out of town, it's Christmas. We'll just send you over the lease and everything and we'll work. And I was like, yeah, but just in case they need the keys. And they were like, yeah, you can do all of that stuff. And I was like, what about your payment? And they were like, well, we're not gonna hound you for $945. Go ahead and put a credit card or something on in the system. And I'm like, okay, sure. <laughs> So here's the gift that keeps on giving. I put my business credit card on file in their system and they're able to do it through the portal. When my invoice came in, it was for the full 35,000. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to break this down monthly, but they didn't say I did. So I'm just gonna go ahead and invoice them for $35,000. I gave them a 1%, I think I did 1% discount on a net 15. I went into pending. They approved it and went into pending payments. So I'm like, there's, there is no way I'm about to get paid by New Year's $35,000 into my account for leasing one office space to the government. I got paid <laughs> by New Year's $35,000 from leasing to the government. My profit was a little over $23,000, so $24,000 off of that one lease. Let's do the numbers. All together for me, finding the bid, finding the property, doing my little flyer to send to them all together was about five hours of work, including me deciding to ride there and come back because it's about 30 minutes away from me. That's about five hours worth of work for $24,000. Five hours. <laughs> After being afraid to log into Sam for two years to this blessing. Well, partially, that, that's more of your blessing because it, I don't know, it just, it registered. You're like, are you broke? And I'm like, I don't want to be. <laughs> but you ran with it and you not only ran with it, you did something that they loved. You gave them enough information. Yep. Even though they didn't ask for it, it's yep. still, it's an office space. We all have questions like, what are the restaurants? And what is this like? Floor plan. You gave them- Are there restaurants? Is this an open space? Is there a I, community center? Can we have meetings? All of those things that I wanted to know, like, well, do y'all need these things? I just supplied it because I wanted to know, like, what's this gonna be used for? But who am I to question what you're gonna be using this for? So. I'm going to answer those questions for you. And they literally had no questions besides when can we get the keys? 
in your submission, did you have to provide a letter from the owner saying that you had permission? Did they require No, I did not. Be, now, I have seen bids that say that, but they want to just make sure that you're going to represent and that you know what was going on. I always like when I'm reading through my very first thing was not necessarily what all the government wanted because they made it very clear to check that lease of the place because I'm technically responsible for. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to make sure that there was nothing, you know, out of sorts. And it helps you also too to price because they want to do a year with an option to lease another six months to a year possibly. Well, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to get charged extra if they wanted to do just six months. I wanted to make sure that there wasn't like any clauses or anything that, you know, I can't say, oh, no, the government doesn't work like that. And they're like, yeah, but you do. This is a year and a year. So it was more so about reading what I was signing up for. The government told me what they, what they want. So I'm kind of like, oh, right. Well, I got my toe wet. Now we're ready to swim. Or at least or at least sit by the pool. <laughs> you're ready to dive. You're you're like, you're diving. Booba diving now. So it's. It, it opened the door and I think the best part about it was they didn't care about my experience. They didn't care about a real estate license. They didn't care about references. They wanted what they wanted and they told you this is what we want. I have made a lot of money in various ways. I've never had money that easy. <laughs> and I could have been so much further along. I've been in sand for two years. All in fear. But you stepped out. You stepped out on faith. You found it. And even as you were going along, like, I can't be this easy. Google Earth. It can't be that easy. And often it really is. Especially with things like property. It's like you either have it or you don't. There's no like, I might have it. Like you, you have it or you don't have it. Just that simple. Yeah. And it's it's one of those things that I had to kind of tell myself, like on a scale of all the things that the government is looking for, you got people working on missiles and aircraft. You mean to tell me you're scared to ask for a couple thousand dollars for looking at a property? Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it helped though, because now you have that extra money for, you can bid on something bigger. The next property, they may want, you know, all of the money or at least, you know, deposit first month and all that stuff up front. But the best part about starting, because that's this is the thing of starting. A few weeks after they were into the office, I get an email. Hey, Nakia, we need another office space. Are you able to get one in that same building for the same price? You mean the one that gave me a profit of $24,000? <laughs> yeah, I can get you another office space. So next month, they'll be leasing another office space. Oh, no bidding, no nothing. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And on top of it, what a blessing for the individuals who own the space. That's what they said. They were like, we just love you. And they have the best tenants that I mean, they're not bothering. <laughs> because the thing is, and this happens in many industries, they own it. They're doing, they're living their life. They're not thinking yeah. about, oh, let me rent to the government. That's right. And not only that, we bypass them because they, their target audience mostly is like, Hey, it's after COVID. People are working from home. So I actually want to step away from home. So they've priced these things affordably. They're centrally located. They're not thinking of, and they're making their profit because people rent them out. They rent out the spaces by hours sometimes. They, but it's like, you come in, you bring us two tenants. What do you need? <laughs> Anything you need. And I'm like, I honestly don't, they, they're not requiring much. They're not asking me for anything. I volunteered. I'm like, hey, if you guys need me to get a cleaning crew over there, if you guys need nothing, they don't need anything. They needed the office space. That's it. Which is beautiful. And you never know because this has happened where down the road, they may even make an offer to buy. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah. Well, uh, now, you know, since I got that in the bag, I'm, I'm going, I have like four pending right now. So we're just going after office spaces, but these are the big ones, you know, the $6,000 ones, the multi-million where I found your budget and I can see how much you guys should normally spend. But I just cannot believe that I allowed myself to get caught up in the, oh, it must be too hard. Because what if, if it wasn't, everyone would do it. You might need this. You might need that. Instead of literally clicking a couple buttons and reading <laughs> right. and making money. Right. And often people make it more challenging than it is because either they don't want the competition, yep. they don't know what they're talking about, or they themselves have fear and limitations and scarcity. So it's hard for somebody who's fearful to say, yes, do it, go do it's it. Very true. 
very true. And it's also, it does, you do kind of have to get yourself together. I look at me now and then me two years ago. Me two years ago would have needed the money in a different way. I wouldn't have been able to invest it. But life now, even my personal eating cleaner, thinking clearly, it's just a different time. So this is just my company. Literally, we used to make six figures in a year. We're going to have six figures in one quarter. Now I can take my 1099 employees and actually make them W-2 employees. I can take risk a little bit now because I'm not just kind of like, okay, well, everything's working and we only have enough for payroll and we have a little bit here. It all goes into fear. And now I'm like, oh, don't call me. I'm too busy. I'm working with the government. Or like I told my son the other day and he's like, what do you do? What is it? And I was like, I'm just assisting the government. And I heard him say something and he was like, yeah, it's like government assistance or something. I'm like, no, buddy, switch that around. Not government <laughs> And now talking about the SNAP program. It's one of those things that you kind of have to get out of your own head and just start. You do. And to do it and just let it be. Because as you said, you're like, I mean, I, I don't even know if I needed to pay them. I did it. And that prevents too many. Too many yep. are caught up in like, I have to have everything perfect. There's no perfect. In there is no industry. perfect. And the funny thing is, I read and I'm sure I've received so much information that you have to like, I mean, you go into the system, you build them and then they'll pay you back every month. So I'm thinking that when my bank said, here's $35,000, I'm like, here I am taking, th I, I would have stopped just because of that, because the first thing I would have said, well, I don't have $35,000 to play with. Not only that, it turned out even better because I'm building my business credit because I'm using a business credit card. And as soon as I paid that first one, my business credit shot up. So my credit increased there. And I'm like, oh, wait, I don't need $20,000 credit increase. And they're like, hey, you're here now. You're in the game now. Start. That's my advice to any and everybody. Start. And it was beautiful too, if you so desired, you could not even go back to them and say, hey, let's renegotiate 900 a month. I pay you all at once, you know, yeah. because we're seeing with the leases, they had no problem paying you ahead, which is yes. beautiful because who wouldn't want that? Exactly. And it's the best part too, because they're even like, oh, if you give us two tenants, we'll give you a discount. Even better, I'll pay in full. If we do a discount, I'll just pay the lease outright. And they may want a third tenant or fourth. And I'll be here. <laughs> But I'm already available <laughs> yeah. to provide and I don't care. It was literally just that simple. And we're talking five hours of work, of work. I've worked much harder for much longer for much less. <laughs> it's just a testament, I mean, especially to you because you took action. I come across all the time, a lot of realtors or people who are like, Kizzy, can you put some content out there about real estate? And yeah, and it's like, you know, this is this is it. This is the play. This is it. And many and that's low hanging fruit. This oh, is just yeah. an office space. Normally, they have to place six or seven people and they need thousands of square footage. So this is like, literally the lowest hanging fruit you can you can get and that is to like you know lawn services and things like that which of course i'm getting all it this is this is things you don't really even have to put that much thought into this is the lowest hanging fruit for the most profit right it definitely is and the thing is with these leases as you've experienced, you know, they might find one where it's a month, but they usually want the space for some time and then people get comfortable. Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh, you move me into this space. Oh, we got to make it again. We're going to take the building. We're going to take the building or we've been here five years. We don't want to keep using taxpayer dollars and paying rent. Let's just right. buy the building. Well, that's what I'm working on now with the bigger bids that I'm putting in now. I've asked if it's a, either a broker or the owner, whoever has to build it. Also, could you give me the cost to purchase this? Because most of the leases are for five years. Literally, the price for five years is the price that it would take to buy it. So I'm presenting that with my bid. Again, I'm giving them all the information. When you come to me, you're either telling me, yes, we'll take it or, hey, hold that thought. Let me let me see what we can do here. I'm giving them everything, even the stuff that they're not asking for. But that makes sense. Not, I'm not selling them on me. They don't care. Oh my gosh, you got this and you, you did that. Oh, that's great. They don't care about that. They want what they're asking for. And then you can list all the special things about that, including, or you can pay this and just purchase it outright. Right. And what's great about this 
even if and when they buy the building, you're still making a profit because some watching may wonder, okay, so she sells it. This isn't typical real estate. Why would she do this? What is she making? So kind of break that down. You don't have to give the numbers, but talk about the- Oh, well, I'll, give, I'll give some numbers because we, 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 we only, like when you said broke, that number meant zero. I read, <laughs> okay, go, go for it. Tell us, tell us, because I want everyone to know. So for instance, the one that I'm working on now, and, and let me just say too, yes. the reason that I say start is because you never know who else they're working with, because you'll get an email from someone who says, hey, this is just a solicitation right now, but do you know of anything? And now they're looking for something. And eventually that may come out and they're not going to anyone else. They're coming directly to you. But let's say, for instance, and that has happened, that's why I'm saying that. And so in that instance, <laughs> they are looking for, um, guys, the government is looking for a place to <laughs> store an airplane. The maintenance on that will be practically nothing because that's not a day-to-day -day thing. It's them storing their airplane. I don't have to go there. I don't have to clean it. I don't have to do any of it. But they do need a good amount of space, like 7,000 square feet of space that they're looking for. So in a commercial lease, your price is to buy square footage. So let's say that you're going to do, you know, $20 times. You want to make sure everything that you could possibly, if you're going to be responsible for the lights, if you're going to be responsible for, um, if you are going to send a cleaning crew, you want to put everything in that square footage price to price it out. They're going to leave that poor little plane there for five years. The one that I put in, it came up to like 1.7 million. I looked at their last place that they had. They were spending, it was like 1.9. I'm still under what they, I'm saving the money. And this is just a solicitation. This is not an open bid. I won't have competition. And of course, in my true fashion, I'm showing them exactly where it's located. Here's security. I can put a security camera right here. This is what that's going to be all included in your price. Or you can go ahead and purchase it for 1.8. And guess who makes $350,000 off of that? That's what I'm talking about. Like I said, hold on. <laughs> Stop asking the questions. I see people so many times in, in your Facebook group asking questions about things that doesn't even pertain to them yet. Like you are stressing yourself out and you're not even there yet. Like it doesn't, it doesn't even pertain to you. Start. Yeah, I mean, I'm blown away. I'm about to tear up over here. I <laughs> love to tear it up too because I'm like, oh man. You mean to tell me I waited. I literally waited two years. I know. I mean, you did, but sometimes, you know, as part of the plan is that the delay, because it was a set up. It wasn't a set back. It was just a yeah. set up for you. And what's also amazing about this is her forward thinking and the options. Hey, I can set up cameras because these are things that we think about with our own house, up oh, with your yeah, own yeah. cameras out there. Do yeah, like even if you're not in this space, it's like you have to think if you are storing something, what would you That's think about right. cameras? Maybe you find out if they offer security. Maybe you yeah. offer to provide security. Yeah. Who knows? And what's beautiful is they want us to be thinkers. They don't want to go with somebody and then they're like, uh, did y'all put in extra locks? And they're like, what are you talking? You know, <laughs> they, they, like, locks. <laughs> you know, they want thinkers because if not, it's then they're wasting their time doing your And it goes back to when people say, well, why would the government pay me to do that? They don't have time to do that stuff. They don't have time to look for that. But you do. <laughs> yeah. And that's why she's going to make so much money off of this. Right. That's why they contract to Lockheed Martin and Boeing and to race. Exactly. The and sometimes in some of the contracts, even like Boeing, they're too big now. They need to sub it out. So it's right. like, hey, I know you guys probably saw this contract and you're too big. Can we price this accordingly so that we can still store and work with you guys? But I can make my profit too. So now you're you're in rhythm now because you started. Yes. And it's especially for those of you who are interested in real estate. I mean, this honest, real estate, lawn care, to me, are the lowest hanging fruit for the best profit. And if you are concerned about, oh, do I start here? Oh, she said she did real estate. Let me tell you something. That $3,000 commission check is totally different. <laughs> and a whole lot more work. <laughs> Than, than this, honestly. And it's not a thing about, well, what about in my state? It doesn't matter what state you're in. If you are connected to the internet, if you don't go to the library, if you're connected to the internet, you have something to look online with, you can do this.
It's literally that simple. As a matter of fact, I have my my 19 year old. We just signed up. We got his LLC signed up. He's going to be registered in Sam probably in about a week or so. Little buddy's going to be bidding too. We're not just creating generational wealth for war, but we exploding in it together. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I mean, and there's so many properties, everyone. This is not about HUD, GSA, or the Army. This is, you know, there's so many Asians. You don't even have to be in that state. No, you don't even have to live in America a bit on this. Oh. <laughs> right. You just need to be able to do what you've done. That's what's key is you find it. You think ahead. You build a relationship. This is business. This is no different. If you're That's selling right. a phone case, you got to right. find it. You supply it. People are happy. And you're going to be doing the same thing. You're looking for what they're asking for. Nope. Don't overthink that. You're looking for what they told you what they wanted. If you give them a little bit more, even better. We don't care about you. We don't care about your references. We don't care about how you made this space all pretty for your aunt. We don't care. Give us this all this space. Tell us how much this is going to cost us. Give us the fact you'll get paid. It's just that simple. And I don't know about you, but I'm in easy stages. I want it all easy. I'm a fan of working hard, but I don't know why we think that we have to like kill ourselves in order to earn something. I am totally fine with putting in a little bit and getting a lot back. I'm fine with that. Yeah. I once had a coach who would say to me quite regularly, because it took me a minute to get it. He was like, Kizzy, why does that have to be hard? Why does that have to be hard? Why can't it be easy? And I agree with you because it's a mindset. I, I don't, it's like, I've never heard Elon Musk or anyone say like, oh, it's so hard. It's always hard. It's hard. Life is hard. Exactly. Like, I, I've never heard him say that. I'm sure, of course, things are challenging and we- And you come up with stuff all the time, but there is a solution for everything. Right. And I don't live in chaos. I don't live in, I don't even watch. I remember, and again, this could be why that two year difference was. I remember like the things I would watch on TV. I used to watch like reality shows and I love a good true crime. We're not manifesting crime over here. We're not manifesting drama and chaos. Why am I watching this? Like, what is this doing for me? If I'm not smiling, learning, or making money from it, it's not even in my realm, like at all. And that I think is kind of like the difference, like being able to just like being in the energy of, I can't get a solicitation if I'm sitting on my couch. How do they know me? How, how would they reach out to me? You got to start, <laughs> you got to get there. And you don't even know what it all could lead to because now you've got a little extra money. It's like, well, now I could bid on some of the service contracts and, and those are huge. You know, you get a crew and it's kind of like, I got the money to upfront it now. I don't even have to worry about what I had to worry about the first time. So I don't give advice to people because I, I don't know. I'm not a genius in anything. But if I did, my only advice would be start. That's it. Just start. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. my gosh. Yep. As, I mean, I can't argue with that. That's what I told my 19-year-old. He's like, but my book, the book, sorry, we're starting this now. And it's, and it's very simple because people say things like, I, I remember reading in the Facebook group, what if you owe the government? Clean, clean you up. Cleaned all that crap up. You owe the government. Pay the freaking, like, come on. All those stigmas that we have. I don't have a bad relationship with the government. All those things. Now I'm paying attention to where the money's going. A lot of the money's coming back to us, but we're complaining about all this other stuff and not doing anything to receive what they are giving us. Don't worry about that. You don't have to worry about that. Not for me. I'll be receiving. <laughs> True. You will receive. And, and to your point, what we take in impacts us. If somebody has a situation like you owe taxes, just get on a payment plan. All right. If if there's something interesting going on with your criminal background, take care of it. <laughs> you take care of it. If you owe child support, take care of it. Take care of it. You know, it's just as long as you take care of everything, it's fine. And don't. And that's what you'll start rating. That's what you'll start living in your life. You'll start yeah. things will be taken care of. I. It took me the longest. I remember like saying, oh my God, if I could just get to six figures, if I could just get to six figures. And when I got to six figures, I'm like, I'm exhausted. Like I am tired. This is not how I thought it would feel. But it's like, well, you hustle and you make your six figures, but you ate fried chicken that day. You're not working out that. Yeah, you're exhausted. You got to clean that stuff up too. And once I started realizing that it's not just about your work, because that's why your work is so hard, you added all this other stuff in. Now it's clear. I've eliminated all of the things that could possibly block me. And I open my laptop, I watch a video, and then 
three and a half to four weeks later, I have an extra $24,000 in my... <laughs> I know. Fast. The universe works fast. Higher power yeah, works in when you're working. You have to start right. and it will start. Yes. I am just... <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy for you. I am beaming. I am on the verge of tears. Appreciate it. And I'm definitely having you back. You may have to come <laughs> every month. Well, I will definitely because I have about, I have four. Well, I have one that asked if I could honor my price until June for a service contract. But I have about four lease ones that are like, it's only up from here. So I, I'll have plenty, plenty to share, I promise. So okay. for me, I'm all about keeping that pipeline filled. So, you know, even whether you get them or not and still have more to fall back on. So I literally have about two and a half months worth of bidding to do. <laughs> and, and we're not even to the fourth quarter. Not even to the fourth. Wait. My mission is for the fourth quarter. I'm just going to take that quarter off and I'll just celebrate <laughs> my entire holiday. No, girl, you got to bid more. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. I'm already ahead of it. So in, in July, I'll be bidding on my stuff for December. I just want my notifications to come to my phone to let me know if I need to get cruise ready or not. Cruise ready for you to go visit when I'm back in Tulum, which will oh. be a few days. Yeah, come to Tulum. Oh, my God. And, and you know, since I have a little cushion now, <laughs> visit in Tulum. You know? that. I mean, this is just so amazing. I know you're not only going to make the million, you're going to get to 2 million very fast. I was saying less than a year because with those leases, everyone, listen, these leases are no joke. They're no joke. They're no joke. With the margin. If you, go, the if you oh go into gosh. Sam right now, even if you're not registered and you just search, just put in the word lease. And I promise you, you're going to see like 300 and something everywhere and for not just like office space office space is like the the smallest little we're talking storage we're talking i mean and the feet that they want to store like that airplane i'm like hey okay, i mean if you need someone to find you a place to store your airplane why not me i, I never would have thought of that i don't think about the thing most people watching we, we don't i wouldn't think about that either never i would never think about that but they need that. And there and are just places. solicitation. So imagine what they've already put out for you to find. And then the, the the best part about it, the requirements, they're not looking for that stuff. They don't care. They don't care about those small details. Your government is not sitting down saying, oh no, she posted the wrong thing on social media. We're not gonna choose. They could care less. Give them what they're asking for and make some money. <laughs> and make their life easier. They wanna make sure you give them the place. They don't have to worry about the plane. No one's doing anything crazy. And more than likely, person or a company who owns a facility to store something that large mm -hmm. probably has a jumbo jets or other high-end yeah. items. They're already in it. They're already yes. in the vicinity. So they can answer any question that I can't even think of yet. They're like, well, do you need to? And I'm like, uh-huh. You know. <laughs> Sure, we do, don't we? And it goes back to showing that you're a thinker. So when you submit the bid, it's like, oh, oh, yeah, we didn't think about, oh, that's, that's great. Right. Oh, and then, you know, and then you got to think of, you know, climates and so many different things. And right. I mean, this is amazing. It's not only amazing, it's available. It's here. It's now the government was here two years ago. They were here years before that. We're late to the game. Jump in and, and go. Yes. Oh my gosh. I am so grateful to have you here. So Nakia, how can people get in contact with you? Because they are going to get in contact with you. Well, <laughs> honestly, the best way is the Facebook group because I am not big on social media. And especially now that I'm super busy writing bids and one of mine that I'm working on it's like 60 pages and I'm like on the floor with my highlighter making sure I don't miss anything. So I don't really have <laughs> that much time, but I love our group because that is the most motivating. It's like poor us, sometimes we're just like so lost and you're in the group like make it happen, make it happen. And I think I saw you say that some, I heard it. It was for me. I don't even know what they were asking or what they were talking about, but you were like make it happen. And I was like, well, you know what, damn it, I'm gonna make it happen. <laughs> You do. So that's the best way to get in contact um, with me is probably our Facebook group. Okay, terrific. So I'll make sure that the link to the Facebook group is there. And it is. To your point, you got to make it happen. Look at what happened. She waited two years. She made it happen. And she was rewarded. And, what and they'll be rewarded. <laughs> because they came back for another. 
I mean, it just, it worked out. It worked out great. No risk. There's nothing. I didn't lose anything. I didn't have to invest anything. I didn't put up money or, you know, anything like that. I didn't, I didn't have anything to lose and gained a lot. You gained a lot. <laughs> this is a multi-million dollar business. That's right. Just like that. That's right. And it also puts your, your company into another category now, because now our business credit even shot up. Like this is, this is next level. It's like the gift that keeps on giving. And again, I'm receiving. I, oh, I love that. I love that. Love that. Love that. Oh, thank you, Kitty, for putting that boot to the butt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, many have done it with me and still do it with me. And I just want to just my goals to uplift inspire i don't think you even understand that like in it it could be different messages at different times but i think that when you're aligned and you're supposed to receive it you receive it but for me i was like why did it take her saying are you broke it's you <laughs> i don't know what that it just scared me i don't know what happened but it was like it worked and then from there it's like watching the videos but i'm watching the videos while i'm bidding i'm not just like because at first you know you want all this information and you want to retain you still got to start you can be you can know so much if you don't start it's not going to do you any good gotta start you do you have to start and it's great to watch while you're doing it mm -hmm. you know pop in questions whether it's facebook however and then look, look at this. It's not about perfection. No one in business is like, oh, I'm successful because I'm perfect. Like that's <laughs> exactly you know, not how it works. This is not surgery. This is not like brain surgery, y'all. This is that's this what I can. That's literally my comparison. When I'm like doubting myself and I'm like, well, the good thing, Nikki, is you're not gonna have to put anybody's brain back together. Thank God, because rest in peace to them. I, I probably <laughs> I couldn't make it. So on the scale of like worst case scenario what's the worst that can happen if you don't get it so what go to the next one go to the next one and in my case you'll have the next couple of ones because i'm not if i'm gonna do one i'm gonna do three yeah oh yeah again i am just so blown away <laughs> i'm so excited for you and everyone here please take her up on the offer and connect in the facebook group and if you haven't already get the book winner i have one that too i have my book good yep winner's way book learn apply adjust that's all you can do and make sure you like subscribe hit the notification button and as always everything is possible in the keys testament thank you kissy so much i appreciate you like literally appreciate you i appreciate you too